It was recently announced that Seung Han would be departing from Rise, just two days after it was confirmed he would return to the group's schedules. The sudden change has left many fans feeling disappointed and upset. In response to Seung Han's departure, fans have organized a boycott of Rise A because they believed Seung Han was bullied out of the group by anti-fans and SM Entertainment themselves. This boycott involves not engaging with any content the group releases, unfollowing Rise on social media, and avoiding purchases from brands they endorse. Fans are also refusing to buy any new albums or merchandise, with many canceling pre-orders for Rice's recent merchandise drop. Surprisingly, the boycott has gained momentum, with K-pop retailers getting involved. Several well-known shops, especially in North America like Sub K Shop, Eve Pink, and Light Up K, have announced that they will not restock Rise merchandise after their current supply runs out. European and Asian retailers are also joining in, either agreeing to stop restocking or ceasing sales entirely. Comedian Lee Jin Ho recently admitted to struggling with a gambling addiction, but his confession came after he reportedly scammed several fellow celebrities, including BTS's Jimin. According to an exclusive report from Tanasia, Lee Jin Ho borrowed money from celebrities like Jimin, Young Tak, and Lee Soo Gun under the guise of needing urgent financial help. Jimin reportedly lent him 100 million won KRW in 2022, with Lee Jin Ho promising to repay the amount within a week. When Lee Jin Ho failed to return the money, Jimin, showing great generosity, extended the deadline by 10 years, even though he knew there was a slim chance of seeing the money again. Other celebrities weren't as forgiving. Lee Soo Gyun, a fellow Knowing Brothers cast member, also lent Lee Jin Ho a large sum. Lee Jin Ho even used Soo Gyun's name to convince others to lend him money, causing stress and frustration for the TV host who had to repay some of the debts himself. Meanwhile, Young Tak lent an undisclosed amount to Lee Jin Ho, but after receiving the money, Lee Jin Ho cut off all contact with him. It seems Lisa has put those rumors about her lip syncing to rest during her performance at the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show on October 15th. The fashion show, returning after a multi-year break, featured Lisa as one of three performers. She first performed Rockstar and later returned to the stage to perform Moonlit Floor. Fans quickly pointed out signs that Lisa was singing live, noting a slight waver in her voice when she began Moonlit Floor. A clip from an attendee further confirmed this, as differences between her live vocals and the backing track could be clearly heard. Fans were quick to praise Lisa, not just for her stunning performance, but for her impressive live vocals, applauding her for subtly addressing the allegations. As Blackpink members continue to focus on their solo careers, fans have been eagerly waiting for Rosé to announce something new related to music. While she's been busy, frequently spotted in LA for unknown reasons and attending Paris Fashion Week, for Saint Laurent, fans have been hoping for a music update. Finally, at the beginning of October, Rosé revealed that her new release, Rosie, would drop on December 6th. With other Blackpink members like Lisa collaborating with international artists, fans started to wonder if Rosé would feature any guest artists on her upcoming project. It seems like that question might have been answered. On October 16th, Rosé shared a photo with none other than Bruno Mars. In the comments, Rosé mentioned that she taught Bruno how to play a Korean drinking game. Bruno jokingly commented that Rosé tried to kiss him but added that the photo was sick anyway. Rosé playfully replied that she'd kill him and threatened not to release the song if he didn't behave. Fans have taken this playful exchange as a hint that Rosé and Bruno Mars could be collaborating on her new release, and they're beyond excited about the possibility. New Jeans fans are feeling outraged after noticing the group's absence from Hive's updated fourth quarter schedule. Earlier this year, during the second quarter, it was announced that the group would release a new album in the latter half of 2024. However, as of October 14th, their Q4 activities are nowhere to be found on the newly released schedule, sparking speculation and concern online. Back in March, during their Tokyo Dome fan meeting, the New Jeans members themselves mentioned they were working on an album expected to drop in late 2024. Despite these earlier statements, it seems the album has been postponed indefinitely. 
Adding to the frustration, Min Hee Jin, the group's former CEO and current creative director, confirmed last month that work on the album had stopped due to an ongoing legal feud with Hive. Fans are now accusing Hive of mishandling New Jean's activities and jeopardizing the group's future, leading to heated discussions across social media platforms. Many supporters are left wondering what this means for the group moving forward. Hive staff even badmouted New Jeans on Blind App. On October 15th, New Jeans Hani bravely attended the National Assembly Environment and Labor Committee's state audit, where she spoke as a witness about her experiences with idle bullying and workplace harassment. During the session, Hani shared insights into the uncomfortable work environment at her company. She explained, At the beginning of my debut, I met several higher-ups, but they never greeted me when I greeted them. While living in Korea, I understood that you should greet elders well. I thought not greeting them was rude as a person. She went on to describe a specific atmosphere at the company where it felt difficult to speak up, adding that only those who experienced it could truly understand. Hani also revealed how she saw posts on the Blind app, where employees would badmouth the group. She even mentioned seeing the PR team director trying to lower the group's Japanese debut score. Seeing that, I came to the realization that this wasn't just a feeling, but I was convinced that the company hated us," Hani explained. After the session, Hani sent messages to her fans through the phoning app, thanking them for their support. Fans, in turn, were proud of her courage to speak up about such important issues. Itzy's Yuna recently attended W Korea's breast cancer awareness charity event, and while she looked stunning, her outfit sparked mixed reactions online. Yuna rocked a black cropped tank top that netizens loved, but it was her skirt that left some people confused. She paired the top with a puffy pink skirt that had a large bow in the front and tulle around the edges, reaching mid-calf. To complete the look, she wore combat boots. While the outfit was meant to highlight her figure, the skirt didn't seem to fit well with the rest of her look, according to some netizens. One comment read, Everything's fine except the skirt. Where did they even get that skirt from? Another added, What's up with the styling? Do your job properly? I'm shocked. Didn't they just dress her too lazily? Despite the questionable skirt, Yuna still managed to pull off the look with her natural charm. On October 15th, a post confirmed that former 5050 members Aran, Sena, and Sio are set to debut in a new group called Abluma. Along with the announcement, a photo featuring a Cosmos flower was shared, leading fans to predict that it might be the group's representative flower. Danielle might even feature on her sister's debut. It was recently revealed that New Jean's Danielle's sister, Olivia, is set to make her debut, and it seems talent runs in the family. Olivia has already impressed fans with her vocal abilities, sharing covers and videos on her YouTube channel. On October 13th, Olivia made her first public appearance at Incheon Airport. From the moment she stepped out of the car, she radiated the same cheerful energy that her sister Danielle is known for, happily greeting the media and fans waiting for her arrival. Photos of her at the airport quickly captured the hearts of netizens. While some fans pointed out the similarities between Olivia and Danielle, others felt unsure about how closely they resemble each other. With rumors that Danielle might feature on her sister's debut release, fans are eagerly awaiting Olivia's official debut. Itzy's highly anticipated album Gold made its debut on October 15th, marking a special moment as member Leah returned after taking a break due to health concerns. While the album had generated a lot of excitement due to its teasers, the initial reactions from Korean netizens have been somewhat mixed. Many were hyped for the concept and sound previews, but after hearing the full album, they felt the title track Gold didn't quite meet their expectations. Some pointed out that while the visuals and overall production quality are top-notch, the song itself fell short of the excitement that was built up. However, despite some disappointment with the title track, fans have already highlighted a few B-side tracks as some of the group's best yet. Check it out and tell me what you think. During the summer, JYP Entertainment shared that Itzy's Leah would be returning from her hiatus in the second half of 2024. Now, with Itzy's release of Gold, netizens are praising her transformation and believe she's better than ever. In the choreography videos, fans and netizens alike have noticed a big improvement in Leah's dancing. Her movements look more fluid and confident, and she's nailing every step of the choreography. Many are even comparing her skills to those of a main dancer, which shows just how much she has grown during her break. Comments from fans expressed how emotional they felt seeing Leah's hard work pay off, and in a behind-the-scenes clip, Leah herself shared that she focused on improving her skills during her time away. 
everyone is excited to see her shine and they're all cheering her on. 